And thanks for staying with us here on the Market Day Report, brought to you by Ariad. Good afternoon, I'm Janet Adkison. Well, biofuel groups are applauding the EPA for finalizing renewable volume obligations, which they say is a good step to getting the RFS back on track. Now, the announcement comes as consumers continue to face record high prices at the pump. American Coalition for Ethanol CEO Brian Jennings joins us now with further perspective. And Brian, thank you very much for your time this afternoon. Bring us up to speed on this latest announcement and what you, what you believe it entails for us. Absolutely, Janet. Thanks for the opportunity. Well, EPA packed a lot of individual actions into the announcement they made on Friday. There are five different pieces when you unpack the entire announcement. What's really good news is that they are calling for 15 billion gallons of renewable fuel for calendar year 2022, which is what the RFS statute requires. They're also adding on top of that 250 additional, a million additional gallons from a lawsuit that we won a few years ago to restore or remedy the damage they had done previously. They've adjusted the 2021 volumes a bit higher to reflect actual ethanol use. And this is really important. It appears the final nail is finally being put in the coffin of this small refinery exemption uh, abuse that we've seen from EPA in the past because they denied all of the pending uh, refinery exemptions. So when taken as a whole, it's a very strong step. It, it starts to get the RFS back on track. Now, in addition to those volumes, the EPA, as we reported earlier, halted the small refinery exemptions. What does this mean for the industry? Well, this is gigantic. I mean, the, the damage that was done by nearly 100 small refinery exemptions under the Trump administration may never be fully addressed. But what we now know, Janet, is that the abuse will not continue, that the Biden EPA is going to close the door on that loophole, that, that abuse that we saw through the program in the past. It means renewable volume obligations for, for refiners should be increased in the future, and they'll be blending more physical gallons of E15 and E85, which helps bring down these record high prices at the pump that we're seeing today. Now, if you could speak to the timing of this announcement amid the current energy supply situation. Yeah, you know, the administration every single day is still searching for something to address the fact that Gasoline prices on national average tend to be setting records every single day. We're approaching $5 per gallon nationwide for a national average. And ethanol is trading for about a dollar, maybe a little more than a dollar, less than gasoline. So the more ethanol that we can blend into the U.S. Uh, fuel supply, the less folks are going to be paying at the pump. All right. Thank you very much for your insight, Brian. American Coalition for Ethanol CEO Brian Jennings connecting with us today out of Sioux Falls, South Dakota. You can go online to ethanol.org for more information.